Just as I said the day after it happened, that prison break in Haiti was going to turn into hell on earth in that little piece of property over there called Haiti. Uh, that S-hole, how they always criticize President Trump from calling it that, but mm, it is, ain't it? So the prison break, now the gangs are out, now they're eating each other. That's the last one. I don't know if you heard. Cannibalism. They're eating, they kill the people, and then they eat them. All right? The prime minister, oh, slash president, nowhere to be found. Hmm? Also, America, what is America saying? Oh, yesterday, let's remove our non-essential embassy people over there in Haiti. Hmm? You know what they're going to do next? Mark my word, just like I was right at the very beginning. I'm going to be right about this one too. They're going to start not only flooding them in, they're going to start flying them in because it's asylum seekers and America has to do the handout part. You know why? Because Dominican Republic will not. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, the president just straight up and came out and said, nope, not today. We're going to seal those borders. We sealed them last year. We're going to extra seal them now. Dominican Republic does not play that. The only country that's stupid enough to get involved in something like that is called America. Why? Because we vote these idiots in and election have consequences. It's going to get so much uglier before it gets better. Watch this. Animals. Look at that, just animals. This is the people that, by the way, you liberals here very soon are going to say, oh, look at that guy. He hates his island. That's not my island. That's Haiti. I'm from the Dominican Republic. I'll go even further. When you have a country that is ruled by a dumb gang member, completely literate, not very intelligent, right? Very stupid man called Barbecue. That's his name. That's his nickname, Barbecue. When you have a country ran by a man called Barbecue gang member, it's not the government, it's the people. The people are the stupid people. And those stupid people is that we're bringing in. I'll say it because that's the truth. When you have a country ran by a man called Barbecue to the point that the prime minister of that country leaves, the people in that country are just stupid. Now, what does that say about us? We are being ran right now by a senile corpse. I mean, that should have bit my tongue on that one because there's a lot of truth to that. We'll get him out soon enough. But look, guys, that's what happens. We keep blaming these countries. Um, it's not the governments, it's the people. Look at these idiots. Just complete chaos. He left to Puerto Rico, the prime minister. <laughs> left to Puerto Rico. Freaking coward. That's another thing, just so you know while you're watching this. Um, that's what makes Americans also different than most countries. See, when things get tough here, we stand and we fight. We stick around. Most people leave. They just let the government take over their countries. Americans don't do that. That's what's beautiful about America. Most people in these countries leave like cowards. Look at this You know what should happen? This is what should happen. United States, 
the Clintons already ruined the whole thing over there. They already stole plenty. They already uh, did plenty of corrupt things over there. We need to just not get involved. Let Haiti do Haiti. Um, let's not let him in at all. And uh, Dominican Republic will not let him in either. They need to stay there and figure it out. And if they want to be ran by a guy named Barbecue, so let, let it be. We don't need to get involved at all. So to summarize, to cap it up for you, we have Venezuelan gangs. I was just there the day before yesterday. I saw them at their base, bunch of thugs wearing Gucci bags and Louis Vuitton bags and walking around the city and just staring people down like the thugs they are, those Venezuela idiots. Then you have uh, Haiti now. Hmm? Then you have the Salvadorians also. Uh, the uh, MS-13 gangs coming in here. My God, man. We are going to hell in a hem basket. All these countries are just emptying their garbage here like they did back in the 80s from Cuba. We're just not mad enough. That's a fact. Anyway, that's all I got.